guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Warrior Web and we're building Kingpin at the minute. And as you can see next up in this Spider-Man wave we have Marvel's Black Cat, also known as Felicia Hardy. So as you can see we have the figure, we have the builder figure piece. We have the logo on the top. We have the name, we have the pro promo shot on the side. It's a weird shot, she looks quite different. And then we have the production shot on the back of the figure. We have the rest of the wave there. And then we have the blurb which says Sometimes Spider-Man's ally, sometimes her enemy Felicia Hardy prowls the city as Black Cat So yeah, she's a bit of both, isn't she? She's, she does good sometimes, but she is a thief and that, a master thief So, let's get it cracked open and let's have a look So here she is out the box and as you can see we've got the Kingpin arm Which is in his right arm And then his lovely cane Obviously, they the build a figure bit, which we get into, so we'll move them out of the way for now. As you can see, she's got this like weird mechanical whip, it looks. Let's hold up the figure. So let's do articulation on this young lady. As you can see, we have a rocker on the head, and it is on a ball joint. The arm rotation all the way around. Out. No bicep break. Only single inched elbows. The wrist does swivel. Uh, and it is on a rock. But it's one of them that goes up and down. As you can see, so like that. Looks like she's waving. Hello. Uh, on the abs, we have... It's one of them ball joint ones, which we get on most female characters. So. You can get quite a lot of movement. That's as much going back. Just going forward, looks like she's got a hump. We have no break at the waist. We have a leg kick. Are we out? That's as much going back, so practically not going back. Splits. We have an upper thigh break. Double jointed knees. She can't kick her own ass though. Uh, no boot cut, I can't see because of these feathered things fur. And then the foot is on a rocker. And a pivot's just mine stiff. I don't know if there is a boot cut. No, I don't think there is. So let's have a look at the figure itself. So here's the figure close up so you can get a better look at the paintwork. It's got those really nice green eyes. And those lips, they're not a red, it's got a purpley tint to them. She's got the long white hair, what goes down the back. She has got these feathered things around her neck. There's a zip there, it's not moving all. Obviously she's got the highs on the chest. She has got these uh, fur things on her wrists and uh, ankles. They are just a soft plastic so they can be manoeuvred around. But they look a bit weird, I don't like them. Unless, I'd, I think they'd be a lot better if they were painted white. I think they'd stand out. And then the jumpsuit overall she's wearing, it is a black jumpsuit. jumpsuit. But it has got like this silvery tinge to it. If you look, you can see it shimmering. You can just see it shimmer. So it's not just a plain black, it has got like some metallic look to it. She's thick. Yes. And then we have this belt thing, which is obviously supposed to be part of a whip. I don't know what material it is. It's supposed to look like mechanical, don't look like a normal whip. But that is just a plastic, goes around the waist, and it's supposed to coil around the leg. But it don't go all the way around as you look. Probably... No. Yeah, so it's got to go around there. I would say... I do really like these green eyes. These green eyes really do stand out. I've just noticed around the neck, underneath the zip, well above the zip thing, there is like a little cat set if you can just make it out. I really don't like this whip thing. It, it, I think it's supposed to be like a mechanical whip, but it just looks plastic. I really don't like that. And let's have a look at the whip in general. So, as you can see, it's got no movement. It's just a standard piece of plastic. She holds like that. You can't. Maybe if you eat it up a little bit with some hot water or an air dryer, you might be able to contort it a certain way. 
but it just slots. She's got one closed and it just slots in like so. Again, it just looks a bit, yeah, a bit weird. Better if you could actually articulate it a bit. Then her other hand is in the shape of her claws. Sure, we don't get an op opposite hand for her other one, so she can be, uh, be doing claws in both hands. As you can see, she's got the sharp nails. So overall, this figure, I'm a bit in middle weight. It's got some positives I like. Starting off, let's say the head. I do like the face sculpt. I do like the eyes on the head. I do like the actual bodysuit she's wearing. But the negatives, I really don't like this myth. Uh, mechanical whip thing, same one when she's going around. And I really don't like these eyes on his chest. These yellow eyes. I think the suit would look a lot better if it were just plain. I think I'll probably paint these fur bits white on mine and I might colour the eyes in. I think that's what I'm going to do with mine. But let's go into some dioramas and go into some poses. See what shot type of shots we can get from her. Uh, I do post a lot more on my Instagram. Uh, there'll be a link for that down in the comments below and my Twitter. Let me know what you think of these photos. I'm starting to put a lot of effort into them and a lot of work. And thank you for watching this review. I really appreciate it. And stick around. We are very close to Kingpin now. Just one more figure after this. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.